I bet you're someone that has enjoyed your hobby for years and years and years, and now you're ready to turn it into a successful business. Starting a business based on your passion can be a great way to do what you love to do and make a living at it. However, it takes more than just passion to make it a success. Today, I'm going to give you a quick and easy way that you can make money, perhaps as a full-time occupation, by making your dreams come true of turning your hobby into a successful business. Did I mention this is going to be quick and easy? Also make sure that you watch all the way to the end because I'm going to give you 10 tools that will help you set up your business to be more profitable through sales and promotions. You're going to find that there's going to be a wealth of information in this video. And if you like the information that we're providing, we'd love for you to give a like to the video and make sure that you subscribe to the Supreme Gecko channel to show your appreciation. Okay, let's go ahead and jump onto the computer and I'm going to show you the secret. Here it is. We're going to go ahead and Google this. Let's type in our question. Nope. How do I turn my hobby into a successful business? If you're going to use Google, you're going to get pages and pages and pages of information that you're going to spend weeks and weeks and weeks plotting through and you're never going to find the answer that you're looking for. I actually did this with Google last week and I got more confused than I found answers for. You're going to get so many pages that are just simply ads that are so biased, they're not going to give you the answer and probably will steer you in the wrong way. So now we know that Google is not the answer that you're looking for simply because you have limited time and resources to search through all of this stuff. Now you can do that like I did years and years ago pulling out certain pieces, trying to stick it all together, spending lots of time weeks after weeks after weeks putting this all together and still not getting a full picture of what it takes to set up a hobby into a business. So let's go ahead and jump right into the solution and I'm going to show you how you can save tons of time and make this easy to set up your business. By now, I'm sure that you've heard of ChatGPT. We're going to use a similar product called Chat AI. It doesn't really matter which site that you use. Just go ahead and pick one of the ChatGPT types of sites. We're going to put in our question, what are 10 steps to turn my hobby into a successful business? Let's see how long this takes. Now, you can put in this question over and over and get different answers. You can change the question that you use to get a more specific answer. You can use this any different way that you want to, from 10 steps to five steps to 15, and here's our answer. That was what, 20 seconds? The key here is ChatGPT or Chat AI gives you all kinds of different answers specific to the question that, questions that you're asking it. You can redo your questions, you can refine them, you can tweak it over and over and over again. Now, because the answer is going to keep changing on you, I've gone ahead and set up a Google spreadsheet, and I'm going to go ahead and copy over the answers that I got in a previous search. And we're going to use these to set up your business. Now, I strongly suggest that you set up your own sheet so you can use it over and over and over again and add and subtract to it. I'm going to put a link in the description of this template sheet so you can go ahead and get a start using this sheet. If you're creating your own spreadsheet, go ahead and add tabs down below for each one of these points, each one of these steps. Here's a really quick point. If you're confused with any of the information or you want more clarity to any of the points that we've covered in this video, make sure you contact me on Buy Me A Coffee for a consultation. These consultations are well worth your money and we'll talk in more detail about one or all of these points that we've covered in this video. We'll make sure that you have a successful journey to making your hobby a business. Under step number one is understanding the product or service that you're going to offer. Is it going to be reptiles? Is it going to be woodworking? Is it going to be crafts? What kind of hobby are you taking into a business? Point number two is who will you be selling to? This is a key, key point in the whole process. When we talk about breeding reptiles, we need to find out if we're selling online or at reptile shows or we're selling to pet stores. The next step is fun. Find out who your competitors will be. Now you'll want to find out what similar items that they're selling, but also what other types of items that they're selling, services or products. Check out the quantities that they have available. Are they selling high quality items, medium quality or low quality items? Check out how they sell. Now you don't have to copy them directly, 
but get an idea of what they're doing so maybe you can incorporate some of the same types of things in your business. Now, how do you find out all of this information? Go to Google, type in Crested Geckos for sale as an example, and find the competitors that are selling Crested Geckos. You can do this online. Morph Market for a Reptile Breeder is a great source. As well, go to their websites and check them out. You can also go to reptile shows in your area and also go to pet stores and find out who's bringing in the animals that they're selling. Now, I'm not going to fill in this sheet for us specific. You're going to have to fill in this information on your own. But again, it's so valuable to fill this information in. This step alone should take you probably about an hour or so of research. Our next step is to develop a strong business plan. Now, why is a business plan so important? Well, you want to set goals. You want to make sure that those are achievable and you want to give yourself a path of achieving those goals. At this point, you're saying, Wally, I don't have the first idea of how to set up a business plan for my business. Let's go back to ChatGPT. Hey, Chat AI, tell me how I can create a business plan for my small business if I'm selling geckos. Now, again, you can be as specific and direct with these questions as you possibly want to be. It's all up to you how detailed you want this to be. And here we have our business plan. Now, this took about a minute or so to come up with, but there's a ton of information. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information and copy it right over to our other Google Sheet. And we'll talk about the details in just a second. And you're going to use this business plan from this day moving forward to direct you on how you're going to create your business. Again, this is going to be more of a reference than it is a worksheet to work on. This step alone might take you a half hour to an hour to really understand what this business plan is all about and to change some of the wording to fit your business specifically. One huge step here is to define your one year, five year, and possibly even a 10 year plan of what you want to see your business grow into. Now that can be finances, that could be certain animals or products that you want to carry. It can mean anything that you want it to mean. Step number three is developing a brand identity. This includes core values, a slogan, a logo, anything that the public will identify you as your business. Let's talk about core values real quick. This means how is your customer going to identify your brand for your business? Are the products or services that you're selling high quality, high cost? Are they going to be low cost, low quality? You need to decide that before you start your business. Here's something I'm sure you didn't think was important. It's a slogan. You're going to use that slogan all over social media. Let's get Chat AI to help us with this. Let's have Chat AI create 20 slogans for my reptile sales business. And here you go. Bring the wild to your home. Get a grip on reptile ownership with us. Experience the exotic with our reptiles. Great, great slogans. And again, you don't have to use these specific slogans. Let's try a different way to search. Let's make 20 funny slogans for our reptile business. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of these. Cold-blooded, satisfaction guaranteed. Our reptiles are so cool, they'll make you hysterical. Snakes, geckos, and lots of love. Our store has it all. You don't have to use these. You can keep doing this same question to chat AI and come up with different results. Here's another fun part of this whole process. It's coming up with a logo and the color scheme for your business. We're going to go right back to chat AI. What would be a good logo for our company? We're putting in there specifically for rare geckos. And again, this can be specific to whatever business or service you're providing. So we take a look at this and there's some very key pieces of information in here. An image of the gecko, bold and modern typography, a bold Sanskrit font. Use playful handwriting to convey a lighthearted, fun, and joyous message. You can do that. You can not do that. Color scheme. Use earthly tones or shades of green or blue to produce a natural feel. We're going to go even more specific with this. What are some good attention-grabbing colors that can be used on a logo? And here we go. Red. A bold, fiery color that can... Uh, evoke energy, passion, and urgency. Orange, a bright, cheerful color that can represent friendliness and warmth. So on and so forth. Okay, you know what should be on the logo? You know what colors to use, what kind of fonts, what kind of text should be on the logo? How do we get a logo produced? Well, there's all kinds of Facebook groups that can do logos. 
My favorite though is Fiverr. If you go over to Fiverr, you can get them to create your logo, fill in the blanks with the answers that you've just received from Chat AI and say, make me a logo. This is probably going to cost you anywhere from 10 to $25. It's not that bad, it's very reasonable. Okay, we just talked about something fun. Let's talk about something that's not so much fun. We're going to talk about capital, permits, licenses, certifications, financials, and bookkeeping. Now, you know, it takes money to make money. So you need to come up with some way of getting some initial capital into your business. There has to be some way that you can make a little bit of money coming into your business quick. Now, I have a friend that's starting his own business and he's setting up for people bioactive material and animals, such as bark and leaves and isopods. This is a great starter business. I suggested to him to go out and collect and ship out boxes of the bark and make a little bit of money just to start off that way. If you're selling crafts, how about stickers or decals? Anything that you can do to make a, a little bit of money. Here is a huge, huge tip. Keep your main job for a year or two. All of the sales that you're making off of some of these small types of businesses within your business, go ahead and accumulate that money and put it right back into the business. 100% for those first couple of years. We know everybody starting off a business wants to make money right away, but the other side of the coin is that you want to save as much money as you possibly can too. There's tons and tons of ways to save money. Finding different suppliers with less expensive product, making your own kind of items. Now I could talk and talk and talk about this, but that's another video entirely. One of my favorite things to do with businesses just starting off is to come up with business names. Let's go back over to Chat AI and take a look at some business names. For this purpose, we're going to use the business of ball python breeding. Now all of these names aren't going to be golden and hit right away. And also you wanna check these names back to the internet to make sure that the names aren't already taken. Slithering Serpents, High Pleats Pythons, Royal Constrictors, Ball Python Bliss, Snake Savvy. Let's take another stab at this. Let's focus on high quality and low cost. And here we go. Affordable Pythons, Budget Boa Company. Oh, I kind of like that one. Discounted Snakes, Reptile Clearout, Slithering Savings, Affordable Serpents, some really, really good names. So this gives you an idea that you can use Chat AI to come up with business names for you. The next step is to set up some kind of a way that you can receive money in and actually pay money out from your business. You certainly want to set up a bank account and you also want to set up something like a PayPal or Venmo to receive money and pay money out. From a legality standpoint, you absolutely want to make sure that you cover all the documents necessary for setting up your business. We're not going to get into the details for this step because there's a lot of them, but you can also use Chat AI for your state to determine what you need here. Also for an EI number, something very, very, very important, you can go right to an EIN website to get that information. You can also go to your state to get information on a seller's permit for your state specifically. You might not need it right away, but you also want to consider if you need insurance for your business. And finally, something that you don't need right away, we didn't get an LLC for quite some time after we established our business, but it's something that you want to look into. Now I'm going to put another link in the description for a company that we use called INC File. It costs us about $100, $125 to file for the LLC. Our next step is to develop a good marketing plan. You know what I'm going to say here. Let's head back over to Chat AI. Let's ask it. Here's our question. Create a marketing plan that outlines how to reach, engage, and convert a target audience in the pet reptile community. Again, you can put this specific to your business and specifically what you want to do here. Here we go. And as you can see, there is a ton of information in here, including anything from social media to content marketing, to SEO, to online advertising, all the way through this whole marketing plan is detailed here. Now, I'm going to copy this over to our template and I'm not going to get into the details, but you can put each and every single one of these back into Chat AI, Chat GPT, and get more details on each and every one of these points. On the template, I've added the answer from Chat AI and I'll break each one of these down into the different components. Step number six is determine a price. And at this point, you're going to say, well, I have no idea what to sell 
my products or services for. So let's talk about that now. I strongly suggest to determine the price of your products and services, you go online, look at the competitors list that we talked about a little bit earlier, look at their products, list them all out in your spreadsheet, take some time and go through them and make sure that you kind of get a high and a low average for all of those products. A great source, especially if you're breeding reptiles, is go to Morph Market because there is analytical reports on Morph Market that help you determine by animal, by trait, by genetics, how much those animals are selling for. Make sure you look at Fauna Classified for that information as well. If you have a question about crested gecko pricing, I have a video that I'll put up right here that you can check out as well. I'm guessing this step will probably take you a half hour to an hour to go through all of your animals, all of your services, all of your products to determine their prices. Step number seven is develop a sales plan. This is completely different than your marketing plan. Your marketing plan was to promote your products and draw attention to your business and products. Sales plan is actually selling your items to your customers. Now you can start off small by looking at Craigslist or Etsy or Amazon to start selling your products, but eventually you do really need to start looking at maybe a sales page. There are a ton of sales pages out there, like Spotify, like Square, like Etsy again. Gumroad is a great one, and Payhip is another one. These are all low-cost options for you. Eventually, down the road, you might even want to create your own website to sell your items. One of the things that will sell your items faster than just about anything that you can do is to take good photos of your items. You really don't need an expensive camera. Use your smartphone. Put your camera on a tripod, use a light box, good lighting, and I'm going to put some descriptions of some low cost equipment options in the description. The next step, and oh my gosh, I hate doing this, is to come up with a description of your product. It just seems like after you do one or two, it becomes very mundane and repetitive. So we're going to go back to Chat AI and ask it to do some product descriptions for us. So I'm going to use a product that we sell called Supreme Isopod Chow, and I'm going to ask Chat AI to come up with the product description. This is what you put on your page when you're selling an item that will help customers understand what that item is and potentially sell that item. Now you can take a look at the product description that Chat AI gives you, and you can add it directly to the site that you're selling your items on, or you could wordsmith this a little bit to come up with the perfect product description for your items. Let's take a look at one more. This is selling a two month old Cresta Gecko with high red colors and bred from the best bloodlines. Let's see what Chat AI gives us. Taking a look at this, I love this product description. Every sales page requires a few different types of information. One of them is the about page. This talks a little bit about you or your uh, business. Keep this short. Keep it maybe two, three, four sentences at the very most. Next, you want to consider the terms page. Let's take a look at what Supreme Gecko has as a terms page. This is detailed because this entails a lot of information guaranteeing the products that we're selling and what to do if there's any kind of issues whatsoever. Now you can take this information and you can change it to what you need specifically. Don't copy it, but you can certainly use this information. Next, think about reviews or testimonials to your product. That gives a lot of credence to you and your products and the quality that you're selling and the guarantees that you give your customers. Now here's another thing that I find very tedious to do and that's posting to social media. Oh. Let's get Chat AI to help us with this. Let's tell it to create 10 engaging social media posts about the Supreme Isopod Chow. It can be whatever product you're selling. The reliable, low-priced, trusted food for isopods. And again, it's very important to put descriptions that you want to put in there to get the best kind of social media posts specific to your products and what they're all about. You can see I can take any one of these 10 and put it right on a post showing a picture of the Supreme Isopod Chow right on social media to draw attention to that product. Now you could even do Facebook ads. Now we're not going to get into the details of doing a Facebook ad here. There's tons of videos out there on YouTube that you can go through to create your own Facebook ad. 
But remember, Chat AI or Chat GPT can help you with those ads as well. Here's a key tool that I use to sell more product. I create email campaigns. Now you'll want to find a tool to send out mass emails. We use MailChimp. I think it's good for about 2,000 users that you're going to, or customers that you're going to send out to. Let's get Chat AI to help us with this. We're going to ask Chat AI to create five email sequences to sell Supreme Isopod Shower product that is proven over four years of use and trusted by the biggest isopod breeders and is a complete isopod diet. So I should get five different responses here. And here we go. So we have five different messages. Here's the very first one. Introducing Supreme Isopod Chow. Hello, the name of the email person. Here's the second one. Testimonial subjects here from our satisfied customers. Here's number three. Special offer subject. Don't miss our special offer. Here's number four. A usage guide. And here's number five. Satisfaction guarantee subject. Our promise to you. Hello, customer's name. We stand behind our product and believe its ability to provide your ice pods with optimal nutrition. And until you have an email list put together, you can certainly use this type of question for chat AI on Facebook. Let's promote our woodworking service with a 10% off discount. Here we go. Five different posts you can use on Facebook to promote your product or service. On step number eight, we're going to talk quickly about operations, sourcing, inventory management, shipping, and customer service, especially customer service. Specifically to the reptile breeding business, for an operational standpoint, I need to consider the enclosures that I'm going to use from the breeding adults to the babies to the grow outs. How much room is that going to take? What's the cost going to be? I need to take all of that into consideration dependent on the goals that I've established from a one year and potentially from a five year plan. Sourcing, where do I get my products from? Where do I get the supplies from? You need to determine the best source of your supplies at the lowest cost for the best quality that you can possibly find. Now here's an extra for this video. I'm going to throw a link into our preferred vendor list in the description. How are you going to track your inventory? Now, when you start off, you could record your inventory in a Google Sheet. For me, as a breeder, I keep track of the adults and all the babies by an ID in a Google Sheet. That way I know what's available to sell and what's already sold. And more importantly, I know the lineage for all of the animals that we're selling. For shipping, you need to come up with a dependable service at the lowest price for shipping that you can possibly come up with. We're always reviewing our shipping process, both from a procedure standpoint and the services that we have available to make sure that we ship out the animals and products at the very lowest cost while not sacrificing quality. I'll throw a link to a video that we did on shipping in the description. And finally, how are you going to handle customer service? Now, our recommendation is anything important, you get back to the customer within an hour or so. That's an issue with an animal. That's an issue with an order. If a customer is asking general questions, we try to get back to that customer within a day at the most. And did you know that you can use ChatGPT or Chat AI for this as well? Now we get questions like this. I purchased a 16 ounce package of Supreme Isopod Chow. On this date, it's been two weeks, where's my food? So here is how you can answer that without trying to come up with this answer yourself. Copy and paste, write in as a reply to that customer, you're good to go. Let's try another one. For this one, somebody's asking about a quantity discount on some animals that we sell on our store. Copy and paste right into that reply. Do you need to create a follow-up email? Take a look at this. Ignore those spelling errors, but here's an email you can send right back to the customer. Step number nine talks about how you can increase your sales through networking and collaborations. My number one rule with social media is never, ever, ever sell on social media. Now that sounds kind of counterproductive, but I tell you what, the more pictures and descriptions that you could put on social media, showing your animals, showing your products and showing your services, the better. It's really a turnoff to see somewhere on social media, hey, I'm selling this product or service without any explanation at all. When I talk about social media, I'm talking about Facebook or Instagram or Twitter 
or TikTok or especially YouTube. Hey, I'm going to throw in there for social media reptile shows as well. When I talk about networking, I'm talking about talking to people, asking them questions about their animals, asking them questions about the hobby, asking their opinions, answering questions that you see on social media. If somebody's asking, what should I feed my crested gecko? You be the first one to come out there and tell them what you feed your crested gecko. It builds up authority. It makes you the subject expert. It also draws attention to you, your business, and your products. And our final step is reevaluate constantly. You just hate to fall into a trap where you're not evaluating your goals to make sure that they're realistic and achievable and not trying to stay on task on the same track to accomplish your goals. Pick up your goals, evaluate your business every six months, at least once a year. If you have a new product or service that you're considering selling, make sure that you do your research, you do your evaluation, you go ahead and implement, and then you do the big review. For each new product and service, rinse and repeat. Hey, I mentioned in the beginning that I'd be sharing some tools that you can use to help improve your business, improve your sales. Here they are right now. And these are all either free or very, very low cost. And you can find these tools in the description with their links. One of my favorite tools is Canva.com. You can create ads. You can create thumbnails for videos. You can create any kind of promotional kind of material using Canva. It's so simple to use and there are tons and tons of educational videos out there that you can use. Another one of my favorite tools is Text Blaze. If you have standard replies to customers on their emails or their questions, you can type in your response and then associate it to a very small set of letters. And then when you're replying to somebody, use those letters and it will then type in that full response. I mentioned earlier that we use MailChimp. Again, it's a free service up to a certain number of customers, but you can create your own newsletters or promotional emails, and it's a great, easy tool to use. Have you ever needed a certain picture to promote a product or service? We use DAO-E, which is an AI tool just like ChatGPT, but you can put in a description and it will create an image per your description. There's a small fee for this one, but it's certainly worth the money. Another cool tool is Lenza. It's kind of a selfie AI tool. This one is not free either. Here's a cool tool called Quillbot. It rephrases a subject that you're using. So if you type in something in chat, GPT or chat AI, you get a response. You can take that response right into Quillbot and it will come up with a different phrasing of that answer. Have you ever had a link to another web page that's way too long to type in and certainly confusing when you do copy and paste it into a post? You can use bit.ly.com to shorten that link up quite a bit. Now I've given you a ton of ideas using chat AI, chat GPT and other tools on how you can take your hobby right now and convert it over to a business in a very, very short amount of time. I hope again that this video has been informative and gives you a lot of great ideas. If you have any questions whatsoever after watching this video, let me know and I can help you along your journey. Thanks for watching again. This is Wally with Supreme Gecko.